Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the gaming experience. Uh, this is the English version of the glitch of the SRT Tomahawk X Vision GT and how you actually can lower it down completely to 595 uh, PowerPoint and actually you can run in the World Touring Card 600 EPAs. Uh, 550 but it should be 825 regardless of what you do unless you finish it um this setup is really simple only you need the srt tomahawk x vision gt um the only thing you need to buy is racing hard tires that's the only thing you need after that you don't touch anything else except you need uh fully customized transmission and power restrictor you gotta buy those very very important and you gotta lower the output completely both of them to 60 and this one to 60 as well set up the to 580 uh, kilometers for some reason I didn't change it back to miles per hour so I gotta change that later and this is all the adjustment I recommend first do the final drive and then go from seven six five four and lower it down each one uh when you're getting to the set the second and third you gotta go back to the second third and fourth because every time you go low down the next one will go low down and the next one will go low down and you gotta go for first second and third and back again up and up you will notice that you gotta get out get in lower more get out get in lower more Sometimes you gotta jump between first, second, third, between those three until you get exactly this number. Um, and after that, you'll be fine. And you'll see you have 595.05 PP on the side. And uh, that'll be the perfect place to run either any type of race, even 700 or 800. Doesn't matter. You will beat it so long to two to three left. And the best thing, you don't have to refuel and you don't have to change any tires the only setup that you need to do it is um right when you enter you gotta set up traction control and assistance it's very important to level five and uh, active stability management on and counter steer strong very very important and i will show you how to you race it completely so the way you race it, it is a unique way because you always run in fourth gear only you hit uh five and seven and that's it you don't need anything else uh yeah, you hit the barrier of it, you got a penalty, some mean, that's the only thing, but doesn't matter. As long as you don't crash so hard, you can outbeat everybody by a long shot. So right now you break here in the 200, it got soft, and then go slowly because it does spin out, and there you go, there's a 10 second mark now. There you go, so you don't hit the wall. This is the only problem when you up the seven mark of it. Okay, let's go again. Doesn't matter. This is the only problem. I'm thinking, oh, there you go. That's it. This is the only problem that normally people get if you hit something or overspin go really slowly I'm in the steering wheel so it's really good so far release the steering wheel crash it doesn't matter don't try to avoid to crash to the car because the penalty is sometimes quite annoying like you see here will be 25 there you go um, but only that is is quite good um, you keep turning here uh, seven, you don't need to do anything else, just go slow until you get first. Once you got first, you're good. Uh, 25 is nothing. Try boy, um, at least in the first lap, 
Actually, you don't need it because you normally get about two or three laps depending on how good you drive. And then you break really, really early, especially in the first one. Break a lot, let it go. Just go softly, basically a quarter inch. You go to five and slam it softly, please. Because it will spin out for no reason. Normally it goes down because I'm, I hate waiting but right now if you noticed um you got 17.6 laps right now oh yeah very important get to the right side when you're stopping for penalty because that will guarantee you to uh this is gonna be fun there we go to avoid hit by other cars very very important to do it. Now you run as fast as possible put seven to avoid um, consumption. This insane amount of speed, by the way. Hey, you break here. Hit the car better. Don't hit the um, don't hit the guard because you avoid the the trouble on it. Right now you hit it here. The car is going insanely fast and it does turn. You basically release a little bit the accelerator or halfway through and you're good. You can actually turn this one, you can turn without um, skipping a beat. Oh, I hate this car when I do that. It's really common of just crashing into you. It still will give you the 800 for some reason. Uh, it's supposed to be a clean race. I go soft here. Um, here you break a little bit and then turn there we go at least for the next five turn trying to go a little bit soft uh, you can do it like after six or seven turns you gotta go faster you can go without basically breaking here break let it turn now it's getting all nice and clean accelerate at seven and there we go full sender so right now we don't have any penalty so we can go as fast as we can this is the ideal way to get it but if you get penalties you don't have to worry cars is insanely fast so you always 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 can go faster than anything you can do right now you can outlap everybody look at how long that i got to win this is a guaranteed win all the time and the best part, you don't have to change stars. You don't have to refuel. Um, quite, I like it that much because since you don't have to refuel, um, you can drive as much as you want. And if you don't have any penalties driving, um, you can get it really, really fast. Like uh, one minute 45 or less. Sometimes I think uh, I've done it uh, less than i think 132 i think i go faster but normally i gotta always get one penalty of these it's unavoidable especially because you're doing really really fast insanely fast speed so you just better do it uh, you got a little bit of spin there five seconds nothing you will see it to go there and then try to avoid in the 200 start breaking see, if not you will spin out because of the water, you remember, you are in hard tires. And after that, you're good. There you go, third lap. Only have five second penalty so far, but we're good. Five second means nothing. Uh, you still keep running, put it into fourth to get it even faster. Five, six, seven, and you go way faster. Still, you see, we got to lap, but the remaining lap you got. 15.4 few remaining so we're good this we can go i try a different one and the other one you gotta refuel like two times and this one you don't have to refuel or stop or anything so it's the fastest method you can actually carry stop quickly uh release a little bit the brake here to turning uh keep it in seven you need to go fast because you understeer uh after the fifth or sixth lap you can start going like really fast uh, the best lap you can make is in the 11 and 12 lap because it's 
the 3D stride, so you can use all the the, the oh, 35 second penalty. Uh, if I get any, actually, there, oh, I got 10 seconds. Ah, uh, 15. There you go. That's the only problem. You make a little bit mistake, uh, you'll be a pinball. So try avoid uh, be a pinball machine, and you uh, you can do this really really quick, like 140. Uh, one minute and 45 or less, sometimes actually um, less than that. Um, right now I'm lapping the other people, so this is how fast this method is. Um, this method is simple but correctly. And you never miss, so this is really good. You basically stop always to your right, so if you have any people stopping there for no reason or hitting you, you will avoid it. I probably will get hit some because I will catch those guys quickly. So let's see some penalties real quick. Um, five, six, seven. If you're doing a really long race, make sure to use it on seven all the time. Um, because the seven all, all the time, you avoid um, fuel consumption more. So you can actually turn faster there we go now we have a little bit better and this it should turn quickly there we go now you can turn really quick now because you have drier surface so it is kind of sketchy but you notice on the left side um, the tires are not even touch basically let's see if I can pass through here people get out of the way Ooh, ah. Ah oh, man, this is really, really, really common that you gotta avoid go to the interior side. Um, so yes, here you can turn completely fast, even full, uh, full acceleration. But you gotta be careful with a lot of people while doing so. Uh, uh, this is what I hate the most. Stop. Right now I have Fanatec DD Pro and the only thing I hate about this steering wheel only in Grand Turismo 7 they have a a wheel like a loophole on you see right here uh, they stop and you see people probably passing me if you stay in this side you'll be good there you go well, on this one you don't need it but you'll see when they pass you really near and they will hit you for some reason so stay on the right always. Uh, but like I was saying, the DD Pro have a problem when you're running. You have a like a left and right cycle because you have an endless loop in the middle instead of having like a small depth zone for force feedback, and it's really really annoying. You gotta lower your. Um, I know that Logitech doesn't do as much because it doesn't have as much force feedback. But I know the T300 Thrustmaster do it, D Plus do it, and it's only on GT7, not on, uh, not on other because the central coasters actually run perfectly. You don't see, you don't have that feeling of like four feet, feet back, left and right, like oscillation back and forward. It's really, really annoying. When you do that, you basically lower it the minimum amount of force feedback. Sometimes you gotta do it. In the steering wheel as well so you have the minimum output uh, oh that was a close call that was a close call uh, minimum output output of, of, uh, of feedback so you can control this car better and then or at least have a like a setup for the D Pro apart just for doing this method because it's the easiest way to run it will guarantee it, but uh, right now the only thing I'm still getting used to is the low cell braking. Uh, the DD, CD, DD Pro CDL low cell is really hard, uh, so that's the only thing I'm getting used to right now. At least in this car, it's the first time using it. It's probably my second or third time doing this run. I tried different tracks too, just in case to see how it works. More beautiful. But all oh, the rest of them you gotta do refueling and tires. And this one you don't. No, you're turning. Turn, turn, turn. Ah. 
Well, I didn't hit it. Uh, hopefully, I don't get a five second penalty and we go in. You can go in five, six, and you know, insanely fast quickly, but just cruising around. You don't have to force yourself. You know, it's, it's making money. Uh, here you can turn quickly. I got probably a, ah, there you go. Now I got a 10 second violation right here. Uh, that's the only problem going fast. If you hit really fast, you will hit it like a pinball. Ah, 20 seconds. At least in the 20 second, you can relax and t um, especially with the wheel control, you don't need to. It's annoying, but um, it's better to do it in the wheel because you relax yourself, get a drink. Uh, as long as you set up in the left side, you're good. I have done it in a minute in the first time that I did it, and that thing was beautiful. We're so far, like full lap ahead, and we're good right now, so you don't have to stop. You got 10 lap completely of fuel full power, uh, tires basically are like 95% or more, uh, so this is the best thing, I tried to change different tires but doesn't work at all, even running if you change to the wet, the wets they die about 5 laps, um, you can change it but it's not needed, it's like you gotta make money and you gotta do it quick so you don't stop. Right now we're going uh, 100, 290. Stop here. This stop is insane. I love this car. Every time we stop, we can open the all the vents to basically stop like an airplane. Just love this car. Um, but really, this car is really awesome. Setup is simple, and you'll see how quickly it is to finish it. Um, you can drive as much as you can. If you accelerate a little bit there, you can get it without any hits. Oh, there you go. I didn't get any penalty. I don't know how lucky I got that one. And then turn here. Turn. And there we go. We're getting as fast as possible. Uh, we're actually gaining the other guys. Stop! That's the only problem. You gotta do it before the 200 because you overshoot the braking. So that how fast you're going. Uh, that's what I like about this car. Uh, there you go. No penalty this time. So we're going uh, pedal to the metal and as fast as we can. Try to avoid hitting anybody else. Right now my hands hurts because of the steel wheel strength. Uh, this is really hard. Uh, when you start doing endurance races, it gets really annoying, but that's part of being a race car. Brake hard and by GTR. Now we're turning and send it. You gotta be careful in the turns. Uh, really, you gotta be careful because they will slam you, they go in and then they go out because of the there we go, softly here, to avoid a necessary crash, and then get it. This is how you do it, like a perfect run, but obviously, you gotta turn, but you gotta go quick. If you're going outside, in the outside turn, go quick, and then be careful, because they will cut you in. Here you can turn, there we go, we're turning fine, we should be, oh, there we go. Uh, now we're going as fast as possible and break before the 200 mark or the braking line then turn quickly here the V22 is second place interesting that car really fun to drive uh, there we go now we got it out no penalty on this track and we're doing 127 uh, that was a faster lap yet we're doing 133 on this one because of the stop that we're doing um, but right now we lap it two people completely off and we're doing 97 break I think I probably hit the wall there uh, probably get a penalty for that now we can drive like really fast now at 10 12 you can go like pedal to a battle each turn because you don't have any water 
so you can turn it really quick if you got a control like with it like this no hit pedal to the metal this is what i love with us turning turning let's see if i can do the ah one hit two hit a side that was a perfect run right there at least we only have five there we go, full braking, goes off here because it does spin out when you accelerate and necessary. And then put five, five, six, seven, and we're going five speed. Sadly, I got 10. Wow, I should have done about 120. 120. Let's see, let's see what I can do right now in this lab. Next time, I'll try to do even faster, but we have cars. So basically, that's all possible. If you lower it to five, six, and seven, we'll do it fine. You got a little bit more fuel consumption for all the tracks, and this one you don't need it. You can go as many times as you want, and you can go extremely fast. So 131 to doing 126. Ah, uh, crashing this one. I don't care anymore. Okay, now we're going fast enough. We're lapping, I think, a second or third time. Uh, 10 speed, uh, 10 second, LT, get out of the way, uh, 15, I hate this, uh, I hate this, now I got a 21, okay, yep, 25, this is really turning, I hope you please subscribe, and like we start doing a lot of videos now and probably do a streaming and I can show you the setup that I have right now. 35 seconds. 40 probably? Nope. 30. Get out of the way, babe. Come on. Suey's always so slow. Get out of the way. Now I got to wait. And stop. Then you basically stop here, relax a little bit. Um, just please subscribe to the channel. We started doing GT7 uh, a little bit better. Probably getting a better camera. Right now we have the PlayStation camera at the moment. Sadly, that's the only one that I got. Uh, but I really, really love um, this setup that I have right now from Fanatec and uh, eBay. Uh, set up for running the Fanatec wheel it's like 450 bucks give or take uh, with seed and everything and the only thing you have is a little bit of horizontal uh, flex but you can use a small uh, pipe from like a, a PVC pipe and then you cut it and you put it under the shifter arm and basically eliminate all all the flexing or any type of flexing vertically because horizontally you don't have like any flex at all so it is quite amazing uh, I got a five second there probably because I hit it I hit it again I hit it there, there that's definitely a fine one um, uh, now I got a 21 there you go no, oh, there's probably no penalty. That's weird. No penalty. Probably because it's the final lap, I have no penalty. Normally they do, that's weird. I never had that. Oh, I shoot it, overshoot it. There you go. Now I have a 10 second penalty. That's slow. That's weird. Eh, yeah, we're winning, so. And we are done in 20 minutes, to be precise. We got a 10 second penalty, but... You're so fast, you don't need it. First place. And everybody went here. Please like and subscribe. This is what we're getting. 21 minutes and 24 seconds, so we can do a little bit more than that. And 825. There we go. Clean race bonus. I don't know why, but whatever. 
see, we get about 55.2 every time you run for so dirty workout. And it's quite good, really quite good. Now we're done. And please, thank you very much for joining the, the channel. I hope you subscribe and you like the video. Try to do a quick setup and how you run it and how you drive it. And at least you saw what the commons, common problem that you have. Uh, so please like and subscribe. We're doing both English and Spanish version of any type of race. We trying to do both languages for you guys. I'll probably do a second channel uh, for Spanish only or English only. So let's see how you like it so far. Leave a comment. Like and subscribe, pretty please. I really, really need this. I want to make this uh, uh, bring you contact for gaming, especially racing. Uh, so please like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. I hope you got a great weekend.